eventually in September 2018, we were releasing Deliver Us the Moon. And because we were left on a cliffhanger, it was called Fortuna. And uh, we hoped a couple of things. The audience loved it and they would give us enough time to maybe establish some sort of a second part to it. Or uh, they really demanded a real satisfying ending. And uh, that's something you don't actually know before you release. It was a necessity to release a game to keep the studio alive, but then also give the people that, were, that they're waiting for the Live for Us the Moon. Uh, especially after like four years of development, it, it felt very nice to accomplish that with the team. Kuhn and I, we, uh, we promised this to, uh, to everyone that worked on the Live for Us the Moon, that we did everything in our power to get this to the people. With releasing your game and uh, re responding to your audience, responding to what's going on, that's a moment where you redefine all your goals and your path. So absorbing all that response was, to a large extent, very positive. We experienced so many nice things that have been said about the game. So we knew, okay, people really love to continue this game, so let's get to work. It was always the plan to uh, make the complete version, to get the whole complete story with uh, with ending that we have now. So we already had kind of a, a backlog of people that played the game, the Fortuna version with the big cliffhanger. So we learned a lot from that experience. We put everything that we learned from there and then kind of the response we got from the community um, to put that into the complete version. So Paul and me always had in mind to get like the full Monty of this, like the entire release and getting it out on all consoles and get it onto a disc, you know, like in a, in a, in a box. That's something magical, I can't describe it. So while continuing development to finish off the story, uh, of course, we need to also look at it uh, in a very, in, in a business perspective, looking forward. Uh, looking and, and how we can uh, proceed uh, following our dreams with the whole team. We knew we needed some help in marketing. We knew we needed help in getting the game ported. Uh, so Kun and I set up a trip to the US um, uh, with the whole mission in uh, looking for people that, uh, a partner that helped us from San Francisco to Los Angeles to uh, Boston for PAX. We've met over 40 publishers at the last day where I think I couldn't even look straight out of my eyes, we've met Alf uh, Hibbert from uh, Wire Productions and he was like, you know, actually we want to give it a look. And we were uh, talking a little bit about the game and, and about our, uh, our vision and our, our goals that we wanted to achieve, the consoles and of course the localized versions. We had a very nice conversation and uh, we started quite early. I think he came back to to us and he said like you know what we uh, we actually sent this to the London office right away yeah I, I didn't expect at the time that we had such a uh, like connection straight away but uh, yeah everything from there went very fast yeah they're, they're super straightforward but also uh, yeah they have a lot of fire and action behind it and and we really love that so that's the beginning of how this love relationship with Wired began it is actually very, uh, very nice when you have kind of that light in the end of the tunnel, when you are finally, uh, finally there, you can release this, you can show everything, everybody of the team that put their heart and soul into this, that's finally released. That for the team was magical. They, they couldn't believe that we went from a kitchen table project to a fully released retail game on all consoles eventually that was for us um, unimaginable, but now that was such a award for the entire team. And I think everybody in the team is gonna frame that. Well, the, the game industry is always evolving. So there's always new technology and the next thing and the next best thing. So of course, while we finished everything up, we were looking for another perspective to, to show some uh, spotlight on our game. We saw opportunities rise up at some point where we were like, if we can in implement certain technology at this time, we might actually be one of the first. And is this actually possible? Because to us, it sounded insane at the time since we already finished the entire game. And then we actually said, yes, let's do this. Okay. 